Hello, fellow drinkers. Today, we have another round of the best Oktoberfest beer fight. And this is our second of the final four here. And so I know which beers these are because I know which ones made it to the final four, but I do not know which one is A and which one is B. So I will put that up here for you right now. And if you want to see the other ones I've done in this series, I had 16 beers to start with, all the ones that I got from my local Total Wine. But if you want to see the whole series, that's up here. Most of them are Wisconsin beers because we're in the middle of a global pandemic and Total Wine does curbside pickup. And so um, next year, I'm hoping we could expand out because maybe we'll be back to something more resembling the past. So this is totally subjective. I'm just picking which beer I like best and maybe you agree, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments below. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a smell and a taste on A and a smell and a taste on B. And I'm kind of going to go back and forth because sometimes you get different flavors afterwards. Um, and we will see which one. We'll move on to the final round. This is A and this is B. And if you look color wise, A is just a tad darker than B, but they're fairly close. And if you haven't been watching the series, um, you wouldn't know, but if you have, I have mostly go for malty beers. So we'll see what happens here because even though there's differences, it's been really tough these last few rounds. I'm going for a smell and a taste on A now. Oh, super malty, like a dark malty smell. And let's go in for a taste on A. Oh, well that's a nice beer. It's nice, like a roasted malt. Um, oh, that's really nice. Let's go in for a smell and a taste on B. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely getting um, malty. There may be a little bit of hops in there, but the overall smell is malty. Yeah, B definitely has a malty as well. It's not as much of a roasted malt as A, but definitely a sweet malty. Let's go in for a taste on B. Oh, mm. hmm. So I'm definitely getting sweet. Got a different taste there again. It's definitely happier than A, which is hilarious, because like I said before, I really zoned in on the malty in the first couple of rounds here. So, I mean, this is the third round I'm doing. You'd think that they would all be malty. But, no, this had a little bit of hops. So, I am picking a malty. It is mostly malty. There's only a little bit of hops. Um, a little bit of bitter hops, though. Um, I'm going to go back to A and try that because sometimes that changes after B. And then I'll kind of do an A-B comparison and get my winner. A was pretty much unchanged after B. So after a little bit of AB comparison, I think I'm going to go with A. I'm going to go find that out, even though you guys already know, and we'll see who the winner is. And so our winner is Exporium Brew Pub out of Milwaukee. And of course, you guys know it was going up against Central Waters, um, which has a great barrel aged program off topic. But if you can pick up any of Central Waters barrel aged, amazing. But I actually thought that was the other way around, which is why I'm doing this blind, because I picked A because I liked it, but I'm like, oh, I think that's Essential Waters. But it wasn't. It was the Exporium. So Exporium will be facing off against the Three Sheeps, because I already did that one, I know, for our best Oktoberfest final match. And so you guys will see that on Friday. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching. Cheers!